Hey folks, in a previous video, I demonstrated using EcoFlow's alternator charger to connect to an electric vehicle and use that to power a power station, which then feeds into my house's generator inlet uh, to power my entire house, essentially for days. Today, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just demonstrating that with a plug-in hybrid. So this is a RAV4 Prime uh, 2021. And the cool thing about this car is the 12 volt battery is actually in the back. Um, you just pop off this cover right here and lift up the floor and that gets you access to the 12 volt battery. Um, it also has a 12 volt outlet in the back, which is cool because I can put my little meter in there. So you can see that right now we're getting 14 volts with the car on. <clears throat> and I used alligator clips just to make this a little more versatile during all my testing. That's connected to the EcoFlow alternator charger here. And then the included cable connects here to the power station and the extra battery port. And this will work with any power station. You just need to make a custom cable that would come from the four and a half millimeter outputs on this connector and then goes to the solar input on your power station. However, it will only work at 500 watts, whereas this proprietary situation will work at up to 800 watts. So right now you can see the power station is actually off. I'll turn that on. So you can see we're not really doing anything. And then I will hold down the power button until the light goes green here. And then we'll see it start cranking up. And there we go. Right up to 800 watts. And you can see the voltage is at 13.9. So it dropped just a little bit based on that load but um, not really causing any problems. If I show with my clamp meter here, we can see exactly how much is running through these cables. Go up to 400 amps. So we've got about 62 amps running through here right now, uh, times 13.9 it comes out to just over 800 watts um, of output coming from the 12 volt system now there's another youtuber james claffin which I'll, I'll link in the description below that did a lot of testing with the rav4 prime 2021 and tested out the dc to dc converter in this car which is what transfers power from the traction battery in the car to the 12 volt battery it's it, it can support probably up to 1600 or 1800 watts so this 800 watts is not gonna cause much trouble. If the battery drops too low in the car, the car will automatically kick on the gas engine to keep the battery charged, which is also really cool. In addition, there's a charge mode in the RAV4 Prime that you can actively charge the battery with the gas engine if you wanted to. You could probably run on this for weeks if you needed to. It's about an 18 kilowatt hour battery in this car uh, with about 15 kilowatt hours usable. It reserves a few kilowatt hours for the hybrid system. So when that got low, you could allow the car to just automatically kick over to gas, or you could just run charge mode once a day, get it to charge the battery back up, and then run off that. And based on James' testing, it looks like the charge mode charges the battery at about 3,500 kilowatts. So that is more than enough, obviously, to compensate for the draw of the, the alternator charger. So I'll actually show in the car, what's going on right now. Um, even though the battery is totally de depleted as far as the driving is concerned, it hasn't actually kicked on the, the gas engine. So the draw, that 800 watts is actually not enough to even trigger the engine to turn on. But if it does get low enough, like if I was to turn on the AC or something like that, it would kick on the gas engine to maintain the battery, not allow it to go too low on the hybrid side. It manages itself, so you don't really need to be, need to be too worried about it. Now. To turn on the charge mode, you'd actually just hold down this button right here. If I do that, it'll kick on charge mode over here. And then the gas engine will turn on. And you see now the engine is charging the battery, which is going to support the EcoFlow pretty much indefinitely until you get low on gas. James also did some testing that shows that charging the battery up to about 80%, about 12 kilowatt hours, takes 1.8 gallons of gas. The, the car here has a 12 gallon tank. So you could do this, you know, six times, basically six times 12, so it's 72 kilowatt hours um, that you could run on one tank of gas, which should be able to get most 
homes through multiple days in an outage situation. And if you were to get low, you could just disconnect, go fill your tank, come home and keep doing it. One other thing that's really cool about the RAV4 Prime is this alert right here. If you leave the car running, it will say it'll automatically turn the car off after an hour, but you can just choose to keep the vehicle on and it will keep it on indefinitely. So you don't have to worry about the car shutting off on you. It'll just run forever, keeping everything running uh, in your house as well. Now in an actual outage situation, which I showed in the other video, I would use this adapter, which a few people have asked about, which is a uh, NEMA 515 to a NEMA 1450. A bridged adapter. So what happens here is this will plug into the AC output of your your power station. I put it down. On. So you've got your ground neutral here, and then the two hots are bridged. So essentially, the one hot that comes from the 120 volt is bridged and comes out both of these these hots. And then I use a cable from this to the 50 amp inlet on my house, and essentially that powers my tire house from the power station. Won't work for 240 volt appliances, obviously, because they need different phases on these two different um, pots, but it'll work for any 120 volt appliance, which is really all we're concerned about, lights, refrigerator, the boiler to keep the house warm, that kind of thing. So as long as your average usage doesn't go beyond the 800 watts that the alternator charger can put out, you can essentially run indefinitely. This particular power station can put out 1800 watts continuous. So with occasional surges from cooking or turning the heat on, running hot water, etc., the EcoFlow Delta II or whatever power station evens out those bursts. But while the alternator charger just provides the constant rate of recharge and essentially you'd never run out of power. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.